Communication with family is key while COVID-19 patients are in the hospital but cannot have visitors into their room. A woman reached out to our KXAN investigative team and said her brother is in critical condition and it's been challenging to get regular updates from his medical team. Our investigator Erin Cargile stepped in and within hours the sister says things changed. You know he's still fighting. Chris Robinson is typically the life of the party until COVID-19 took over his body about two weeks ago. More than 500 people are praying for him. And if you met him, you will never forget him just because he had that light. The 41 year old supervisor and dispatcher at Super Shuttle, who is a diabetic and has survived two heart attacks, was hospitalized a week and a half ago. His sister, who's been able to visit Chris and see him through a glass window in the ICU at St. David's South Austin Medical Center, says getting information on his condition has been tough. He was there for almost three days before we even spoke to a physician. All the while, I'm telling myself and my family that um, you know, they're just busy. They're taking great care of him. Firstly, my heart goes out to her and to the entire family. Chief Medical Officer Dr. DeVry Anderson, who's been working to save Chris's life, tells KXAN he believes communication has been good and the challenge early on was talking to multiple family members. We ensured that someone from the critical care staff reached out to a documented member of the family every day and we record that in the in the patient's chart as well. Caring for patients and for family members is what the majority of us have committed our lives to and so we are committed to making sure that we enhance communication in any way possible to help this particular patient. Mary also said she had a disheartening conversation with a doctor about how far the family wanted medical personnel to go if Chris's heart stops beating. Mary said the family wants the team to do everything possible to save his life, including CPR. The physician was, was less than enthused that I chose that and gave me um, the response that I am putting him and his workers at risk to try to save my brother's life. Dr. Anderson, who was not the physician on the call, says he believes the doctor was trying to explain the special type of bed Chris is in to help with breathing that looks like this one and puts patients on a ventilator in a face down position. In order to do chest compressions, his body would need to be turned over. And I think explaining this in conversation to the patient may have been difficult and may not have come across as clear as she needed it to come across. Mary says since KXAN got involved Monday, nurses called to apologize and have been updating her regularly. She's feeling better about her brother's care. We need every prayer right now to lose such an essential part of our family. You know, it's going to be quite devastating. Erin Cargile, KXAN Investigates. We will continue to follow Chris's critical condition. We're all pulling for him. St. David says every life-saving measure is being used right now to treat all patients, including those with COVID-19.